Welcome. This is Paula Chafee Scardamalia of DivinningTheMuse.com with your Monday Tarot message from the Muse for the week of June 23rd. So your theme for the week is the King of Wands. Wands is the element of fire, of spirit, of creativity, career, and work. And the King is the one, of course, who's got all the power, all the resources, has the command, has the, the strength and the energy and the knowledge and the experience, has the power. And you can see this particular King has the banners on either side of the red dragons and in front of him a kind of altar. So this week your theme is to really think about the power you have as a creative, how you use it and how you serve and guard and feed the altar of your creativity. How do you manage your resources and practice and um, use the power that you've been given in your creative work. Your focus for the week is the Nine of Swords. Swords is the element of air of mind, of thoughts, attitudes, beliefs, communication. And here we have a woman lying in bed. She's opened her eyes because above her are all these swords. And it's the idea of worries, um, things that are keeping you awake at night, bad dreams, concerns. Or if you're a creative, sometimes your mind is going so fast, it's processing so much that you wake up at night and if you just come slightly aware, as I do, and your mind starts processing, maybe a, working on a new project, a storyline, all the things you have to do the next day. So your idea, so the, the focus card is to focus. Pick one of those things that you're going to focus on this week and maybe write, write about it before you go to sleep instead of letting it wake you up at night. Your action for the week is to be the Strength card. This is a major Arcana card, so there's a big energy here around this. Your action is to come from a place of strength. And you notice there's a woman here, not a man. This is not about external strength, the strength, muscle strength. This is about internal strength, the idea of fortitude and endurance. And you can see that this strength comes through as a kind of confidence so that when she touches the cats, the big cats, the lion, the leopard, the tiger, they are touched by her spirit and her sense of strength and confidence and everything is, is at ease and rest. So your action this week is to always come from that place of strength and confidence and to act creatively from that place of strength and confidence and fortitude. And finally, your gift for the week is the Four of Cups. Cups is the element of water. It's a heart, feelings, emotions, dreams, intuition, and creativity. And here the man is sitting under the tree. He's got three cups around him. And here's this fourth cup that appears from above. So the gift is perhaps that new idea, that new creative um, project, that desire for the new creative dream that you haven't had before. Um, just remember that in receiving this gift you still have these as well. So you don't want to forget them, you just want to make space in your life for the new one. So as we look at the story for the week, we have three out of the four minor suits represented, and we have one, a major arcana card. First we have the King of Wands, that idea of really the theme for the entire week is remembering to tend to the altar of your creativity and to come from that place of perspective and power that is the King of Wands. You have the creative power. You make the decisions about how it is to be used. Then focus on one creative idea that is coming to you through a dream or that wakes you up at night because it just has so much energy around it instead of trying to balance nine different projects at the same time or let those nine things worry you and then act on from on one of those projects um, from a place of strength of confidence and of courage and then finally look for the gift of that new idea that comes through. Maybe it's um, a, a seed that's planted as a result of the previous project, or maybe it's just some, something that's been floating on the edge of your awareness and is now ready to be um, acted on. 
And this is Paula Chafee Scardamalia of Divinethemuse.com, wishing you divine musings.